Hi guys, I've got two gorgeous vintage handbags here that um, I'd like to show you. I purchased um, these two bags online um, last month and when I received them, I couldn't wait to um, make a review. However, uh, I think I've just been um, too busy reviewing other things and I was busy because it was the, um, you know, uh, Christmas uh, season. So. Here I am now and back again and uh, more active than ever. Okay, so I've got these two um, vintage handbags in um, what you call um, Coco Light Gator or um, Croc um, Leather. Uh, I forgot the term specifically, but um, it's Coco Light Gator or um, Croc Light Gator, rather. <laughs> okay, so this is what uh, I'm going to uh, feature. Uh, I want to talk about this uh, one because um, not a lot of us are experts when it comes to exotic skins, especially determining which one is a real crocodile skin or alligator skin. Frankly, I have to Google and um, search images to um, compare what kind of leather I have. It could either be croc embossed or uh, I'm still, you know, learning. But anyway, these handbags, these croc embossed or crocodile handbags or alligator bags are um, just very nice and um, they would be like, I would consider them collector's items. Okay, so let's talk about this. These two are made from one uh, designer, um, uh, it's from uh, an Italian house and we'll get to that later, but uh, th these were probably uh, made in the, I guess, 1970s or maybe as early as 1960s, okay, because uh, you can't deny the fact that the structure, design, and everything else in between um, screams of um, vintage. Okay, so um, let's talk about Croco Ligator or Ligator handbags because a lot of people are confused. I had to Google this actually to make sure that uh, everything is um, correct. My information that I would be dispensing would be 100% um, correct. Okay, so it says um, according to Google that uh, a Coco Ligator or a Croc Ligator. I wonder why they call it Coco Ligator. Why don't they just say Croc Ligator, right? <laughs> it's just like because if you say Coco, it could be like, hmm, is that, does that have any, you know, chocolate in it? Because Coco is like, I would say Coco is exclusive to chocolates or gourmand um, perfumes like Coco Blanc, Coco, you know, whatever you call it. But in handbags, Coco Ligator is like, they should have just said or term or coin Croc Ligator. They do say Croc Ligator or Ligator handbags. So why, why not change Coco into Croc Ligator, right? Anyway, maybe I'm just confusing you. Okay, so these two are genuine reptile leather. So a Coco Ligator handbag would be considered a genuine leather. Actually, the process of this ligator thing was um, patented in Florence. Um, and um, it is actually a genuine reptile leather. However, it does not contain 100% crocodile. So that means they infuse a calf skin and um, crocodile leather. And then they um, they have this, um, they heat it up the process. It's actually like, it's a combination of the natural fibers of a reptile uh, skin. And then um, the difference is that, of course, the Coco Ligator handbags would be much cheaper than the 100% uh, crocodile. <laughs> but, uh, the downside of Coco Ligator is that um, it is only limited to certain designs like sturdy designs and um, smaller frames. Uh, 
against, you know, uh, a crocodile like gator could be, you know, anywhere from small to, you know, big uh, handbags. So they could, because of uh, it is more, because they said that the crocodile, genuine crocodile skin is more rigid. So you can use that. However, these, they have um, restrictions or limitations on them. However, they are, you know, prettier to look at because they are, um, they have a glossy patent uh, finishing on them so I think that's how you can um, you can distinguish <laughs> however you know I'm still not an expert I'm still looking for pores every time but anyway the best way to know would be to just bring it to your uh, cobbler or handbag um, you know repair guy and they would be able to tell you if it's a genuine um, skin or not okay so I hope um, uh, we're clear on that, okay? So, it's not embossed leather. Take note of that. A ligator bag is not an embossed leather. It's a reptile leather, but not 100%, okay? So, we're clear on that. Now, let's go to first this handbag, okay? This handbag I bought uh, online, and guys, the picture... In the pictures, it was just so... Oh, wow, I just fell in love with it as in right away and I had to have it so um, so look at the frame you know uh, I, I think this kind of um, this metal frame um, style here what is it called again oh guys I'm having brain <laughs> I can't remember things now maybe because of too much information too much input so okay so it's very very glossy of course it's the first characteristic and um, it's very sturdy so it's very plain with gold uh, hardware and detachable um, straps I love the straps guys they are so light and you can just you know bend them and I love the gold. It's so shiny. It must have been um, like 24 karat gold plated. I don't know. But anyway, and there is just a bit of, um, not damage, but wear on this side. I think this is a paint. I don't know. Maybe maybe what she did was she, maybe she covered these up with uh, like a, a white nail polish. I'm not sure. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That's at the, at the bottom of the bag. But I think I can remove this. Yeah, I can remove this, but uh, it's not actually a biggie. Okay, so there it is. I'm still trying to remember, guys, the term for this. Um, it's not a Victorian era. Okay. Anyway, um, this is it. It's smooth um, uh, leather, very, very soft leather. I love, 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 love these handbag guys. But, okay, so this, I would consider this a clutch. You can't put anything in, guys. My, <laughs> it, it is quite roomy, it, uh, but I thought it was that roomy, but um, no, it's not. It's, um, it could probably just, um, hold your phone and um th that's it but other than that um i think this would be good for clubbing it, it has a very very tiny compartment and um it's like i don't know i used this um last uh, i think was that a january one i wore it to church i was so excited but i could not put anything in but my phone so um so when you're going out, probably clubbing, so this would be the ideal um, size for you. So you, your hands free and it's super light. Love, love the glossy design. Now, let's go to the next one. This one is very, very, uh, a very, very pretty. I mean, I mean, a, a common, a very common um, vintage style. So there you go. It's very, very glossy as well. I just love the frame here that has the skin here. I'm going to uh, make a video on my bags that have the same, you know, vintage bags that, 
you know, have the same style. And um, yeah, there you go. And I'm no, I'm not an expert, but I'm learning each day. So when there is something that I need to know, I just uh, do my research. And it wouldn't matter who the maker is. Uh, they're both from an Italian designer, because you know, with hand, with handbags, I love the design. If I love the design, I love the structure. And um, if it's, a, you know, it's just, it's like art, guys. I love collecting vintage bags, you know. it's be, Vintage bags are beyond compare. Now, I think this is a twist lock. Yeah, twist lock. And there you go. They are so newish. Very, very new. And uh, I would say this designer has uh, produced some high-end um um handbags some over handbags um some of them are priced at 500 some of the, I, I saw something like a thousand dollars but you know i'm i'm pretty pretty happy with the price that uh, i paid for <laughs> this um handbag okay so yeah there you go they are beautiful guys they have this uh uh, uh patent leather look and it's just so shiny and you know how much I love to, you know, <laughs> you can scratch this. <laughs> so um, it's pretty, um, if you've got nails, you've got long nails and um, this is a pretty um, safe uh, bag to use. Okay, so I'm sorry why I can't get my facts straight, guys. I'm... I've just cleaned and um, it's the first day of school. My kids are in school right now. So I'm just taking this uh, opportunity to make as many videos as I can because um, in 30 minutes, I'll be um, picking one of them up. So <laughs> there you go. Bye.